Everyone knows that we currently have what I consider a patchwork approach to dealing with the public health crisis of pandemic, but a lot of people don't realize how much that affects the poor. So here are three things that you need to keep in mind uh, with realizing how this current environment of having different requirements with regards to dealing with the pandemic really hurt the poor. You'd be surprised the amount of people who use public transit, but if you're someone who is poor, public transit may be the only source of transportation you have, especially if you don't have any loved ones um, or if you don't to turn to that can help you or even have your own vehicle. Because the public transit is literally the, the area where you're going to have a large number of people being exposed to each other, what you're going to find is that the poor who have to rely on this are more at risk because of the fact that this is the only source of transportation that they can utilize that gives them the ability to move from point A to point B. And I've talked about this in other videos, but think about the technology that we have on a regular basis that we utilize. I've talked about this in other videos, but think about the things that we take for granted like laptops and computers and phones and tablets. But if you're someone who does not have those things because of your current financial status, it's further magnified by the fact that as we move into this realm of going and doing things more virtually, it underscores the fact that there is a significant part of our population that doesn't have access to those resources. So it's important to remember that as we move into this new normal, there is a significant part of our population that do not have access to those tools because they can't afford them. Different states, different cities, different rules. How many of you realize how people who are in tough situations have to move from place to place? Not because they want to, but because their financial situation dictates that they have no other choice, whether it be they're homeless or they're living in a hotel, whether it be that they're living in shelters or they're just staying with loved ones until they get on their feet. When you're moving from place to place, it's difficult, but not only when you're trying to figure out where you're going to move, but it's even more difficult because of the fact that each time you move to a new area, you're now having to learn new rules that may apply to you. When, when we are changing different things, keep in mind, the poor have challenges that are unique to them. So it's important that we keep those things in mind when recognizing that how this patchwork uh, application of public health guidelines affects them when they're trying to maneuver accordingly.